What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to use the extension SpiderFi in order to create flocks of flying creatures like birds or locusts or other things like that. We've talked about the crawling bugs, but in this video I wanted to talk more about the flying things. So. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I've been having tons of fun with this add-on. Obviously, I've created a couple different videos about this, which I'll link to in the notes down below, as well as the link if you want to download the add-on and follow along. But I haven't really talked about any of the fly functions, and I wanted to talk a little bit more about that, because we've talked about the crawling functions where you can do like spiders and other things. So we may do a video in the future adding that into like a camera match footage or something like that. But for now, let's add a flock of butterflies. I don't know if butterflies flock, but we're going to go with that for right now. And so what we want to do is we want to set up these, the flock of butterflies so that it flies around our object right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the box for butterflies and then I'm going to name this. And I'm just going to name this something simple like flock, or we'll call it butterfly flock. And notice how you can set the number of butterflies in here. So we can adjust this later as well. Um, but what we want to do is we want to make sure that we check the box for add goal. And we want to click on the option for add bug system. So what that's going to do is that's going to create a system that's going to basically emit these butterflies inside of our scene. So if I click on the play button right here, notice how at the moment, and this is compiling some shaders, but Notice how at the moment what this is doing is this is emitting basically a number of butterflies inside of our scene. And there's some things we want to change about this, but um, at least for right now, this is a good start. So the first thing we want to do is we want to adjust the size of the butterflies, right? Because they're way too big. They're all over the place. They're even over by my body model, who's supposed to be free and clear of all this craziness. Um, so we just want to make these smaller first off. And so the way that we can do that is remember that this is basically automating the setup of a Boyd system. That's a Blender physics system um, that creates objects over here. And so what this is doing is this is basically automating the setup of a particle system that emits these objects and then adjusts how they act. So what we want to do to start is we want to bring the size of the butterflies down. And so we can do that by going down into the render settings and adjusting the scale right here. So notice how when I make this smaller, the objects inside of the collection that are getting spread around here get smaller as well. So if I go back and I click on the play button, notice how now these butterflies are a lot smaller, right? All right, so next what we can do, and I'm gonna reset this. Notice how if you make any changes, by the way, when you adjust something, all you have to do is just take this back to zero and then click play again and this will recalculate this and so now what I want to do is let's say that I was to move my monkey head right so let's say we were to move that over here well notice how nothing is happening with the monkey head right now well the reason why is because when we created this Boyd's system it was set up with a goal that sits right here right so when we move the monkey head what we want to do is we want to adjust our goal so that it follows along with that system because we basically want this flock to kind of like follow along with our monkey head and so right now if we click play and then we move our goal notice how they're not really following along with the goal so there's two things we need to fix about this so the first and i'm going to undo this right here is we want to select our system go back into our particle settings and first off we want to adjust the way that these are going to act so we're going to go into the physics settings and if you scroll down there's an option in here for Boyd brain and what that's going to do is it's basically going to set up the way that the uh, flock of butterflies thinks so right now notice how it has three goals right there's a goal to separate there's a goal to actually follow the goal and there's a goal to flock and right now separate is the biggest option. And so what this wants to do is when you click play, these want to start by separating out into 3D. And then the second option is the goal, which is um, a lower priority than separating. And so what we want to do is we're going to take our goal and we're going to click on the up button in order to move that up in our list of Boyd priorities. And so I'm going to move my goal over here. And notice how they're not very strongly following it, but they are following it. So what we want to do though, is we want to jump back into our Boyd brain settings and we want to set this so that the first thing that they want is the goal, right? And notice how, so I clicked on this and I just moved it up. Well, notice how as soon as I move this up, they're more strongly following after the goal like this. 
So now I can move this around and the butterflies are gonna follow after that. All right, so now we've got this set up where the system is gonna follow along with our goal, right? So that's what we want, but now what we wanna do is in addition to doing that, we also want this to be linked to our monkey head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move my monkey head over so it's in the same spot as this goal, like this. And so then I just wanna parent the goal to the monkey head. So I'm gonna select the goal, then I'm gonna do a shift click, and then I'm gonna do a control P, and I'm gonna do a set parent to object. Well, Now, when I move my monkey head around like this, notice how the goal is moving along with my monkey head. So now, if we reset our system and click play, our butterflies are gonna follow along with our monkey head. So now we can set these butterflies to actually follow along with wherever our monkey head goes, like this. So notice how the swarm is kind of following along right here. One thing we might do is we might reduce the number in here. The other thing I found helpful is you can also check the box in the Boyd Brain settings for predict. And I find that makes them more strongly follow along with your object because they, pre they predict the motion that's in here. All right, so one other thing for this one is notice how right now, if you do this, they get all kind of like jammed together in here, right? So they all just kind of like sit on each other and it's not very realistic because they're all, all occupying the 3D space. Well, what we can do in order to fix that is we can set our primary rule inside of our Boyd brain. If we click the plus button to avoid collision. Notice how when we do that, we wanna make sure that we check the box for voids. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna make this system not want to collide with anything else in this system. And so we wanna make sure that we move that to the top rule. And we're gonna set this to like a higher fuzziness. So the higher this is, the more likely they are to follow it. But then if we click play, and run the system, notice how they're gonna spread out a lot more than they were before because they're gonna to try to avoid collisions. So remember how before they kind of like sat in here and were just kind of on top of each other? Now this is much more like an actual swarm of butterflies or bugs or whatever because it's gonna make everything a little bit more spread out. Um, they're not just like running into each other. So you can really increase the realism there by doing that. All right, so that's where I'm going to end this video. I will link to Spider Fight in the notes down below if you're interested in checking it out. Leave a comment below. Let me know what other kinds of tutorials you'd like to see with this kind of system. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.